I came out of high school, I was flashy, dribbling a ball. Went from that to John Stockton having the ball. So it was an adjustment. I feel like, you know, I got a kind of like stereotype. It, w- it was tough, man. I love D. Steve. Nobody wanted D. Steve. If he's just shooting around, cannot shoot to save his life. But you put him in a game, he is the ultimate gamer. I had to grind harder and I didn't get that same chance as most. That's what made me who I am right now. Deshaun Stevenson, born April 3rd, 1981. Just to set the environment of today's story, Deshaun Stevenson has a set of dice tattoos across each shoulder. After seeing this, I thought it was important to mention that because it's the exact person you'll wind up describing when telling the story of Deshaun Stevenson. Unpredictable, potentially unreliable, and never afraid to, need I say, shake things up. Let Mark Cuban tell it he's the ultimate gamer. One that may display amateur level shooting in practice, but sink a game winner when it counts the most. Also let Cuban tell it that unpredictable personality may have even led to reports he's at some point went broke. Ask American Express, who sued him in 2014 for credit card debt near half a million dollars, those reports are probably true. On the court, he's a former McDonald's All-American that led his West team in scoring in that game with 25 and the victory. As a senior in high school, he averaged 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 6 assists, which led him to being highly recruited and even committing to Kansas. Of course, in typical Stevenson fashion, he decided to skip college and head straight to the league where he was taken in the first round, 23rd overall. At this point, Deshaun was expected to have the same scoring impact he did in high school, using the athleticism he showed as an amateur to have an outstanding career. He's played 13 seasons in the league, with his biggest impact coming in his time with the Washington Wizards in 06-07, where he averaged 11 points and 40% from three. He has a career average of seven points a game, which by many accounts was a disappointment. I don't think Stevenson was disappointing, although with his skill set and ability to thrive in big game situations, I can see why much more was expected of him. Here are three reasons his growth was stunted. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth. Let's get it, man. Deshaun Stevenson is a 6'5 shooting guard from Fresno, California that had a pretty interesting upbringing, which makes it even more impressive that he even made it to the highest level of basketball, the NBA. His father passed away at the young age of 36, but before that, he was diagnosed with schizophrenia after threatening to harm family members. He was placed in a mental facility, but upon his release, he strangled his own mother and was sent to prison at a relatively young age. Deshaun was then forced to move in with his godparents, where they gave him a stable environment to hone what would eventually become skills good enough to skip the college level and play in the NBA. Stunt number one, not attending college. I went on a team that had John Stockton, Carl Malone, Brian Russell, John Starks. These are the guys that are like seasoned vets. So I didn't play that much. I struggle with this growth stunt because I never want the message put forth that college is for everyone. Especially a guy that has a chance to be a first round draft pick, make over $27 million in his career, and compete against some of the greatest players ever. There's so much that can happen that could change that possibility for the worse. So rarely will I ever say a guy should have or would have been better suited had he entered an NCAA system that practices exploiting its athletes for their own gain. But like Deshaun's mother, I too feel it would have served him better to have a little more structure before entering the league 18, 19 years old with no education of how to take care of your duties now as a professional and also financially. Immaturity. As an NBA player, it was clearly Stevenson's main inconsistency. In his spending, it was the same thing. There's many stories like the one Mark Cuban told of Stevenson putting an ATM in his home for the simple reason of, well, it was cool. 
that surrounds Deshaun that showed the exact mentality that could lead you to eventually losing all or most of your money even after amassing so much. He flaunted his American Express black card on social media all while the company was suing him for $400,000 in unpaid credit card debt. After two years of not receiving anything, they filed against him again before a judge ordered his wages to be garnered straight from his bank account. To American Express's surprise, the account only had $62 inside. Deshaun Stevenson himself has admitted his immaturity with money, blaming him losing allegedly 70% of it because early on he was a target of family and friends leeching off him in the form of help or failed investments. Going to college for a guy with the personality of Stevenson may have been worth it in helping him learn responsibility and help him mature. It also could have helped him on the court because he could have went to Kansas and become a star for a team that desperately needed one, having Kenny Gregory as their featured guy at 15 points a game, leading to an earlier draft selection, more initial money, and more importantly, he wouldn't have ended up in possibly the worst situation career-wise having to play in Utah at that age on a team with veterans like John Stockton, Carl Malone, and traditional styled coach Jerry Sloan. Good place to settle down or focus, but horrible for a Fresno immature young guy that didn't see the blessing within that placement. It laid the foundation for a disappointing career statistically and may have created his want to get out and finally splurge. You know, it was times I was, you know, wanted to quit basketball, some times where I sat in my room and cried. It was some times that, you know, I wanted to beat up some of the old guys. Stunt number two, playing on non-contenders. Other than money to support extravagant parties equipped with world-renowned chefs and tattoo artists, Deshaun, in my opinion, needed a more winning environment under veterans he respected that could have brought him along better and faster as a player entering so young. For the first decade of his career, he didn't play past the first round and most times missed the postseason altogether. Teams like the Utah Jazz, post the prime of Stockton and Malone, Orlando, the Wizards, all teams that weren't particularly great fits for Stevenson for one reason or the other. Having to begin his career with the Utah Jazz and the leadership of a 37-year-old Carl Malone, 38-year-old John Stockton, and no player on the roster younger than 23 was a mismatch in personalities along with culture coming from Fresno, California to a place like Utah. He had no young guys on the team to talk to and no one he could have respected and taken advice from at least and that all showed in his production. Besides rarely seeing the floor in his first three seasons playing behind veteran guards, they had a traditional system that didn't match his more modern approach, so he was traded to another poorly fitted situation and team in the Orlando Magic, coached by three coaches in three years that didn't come close to making the playoffs. He then signed with the Washington Wizards, another bottom-of-the-barrel team with its own maturity issues, led by Gilbert Arenas. In three seasons, they never made it past the first round. Then finally, during the 09-2010 season, he was traded to the Dallas Mavericks mid-season, and the following year, they famously defeated the Miami Heat, winning the championship. He averaged 5 points that season and by that time was 29 and hanging on to his career. One that for the most part was spent with tons of off-season free time as his teams rarely had playoff success. Stunt number 3, Unexpected. They're looking at him like I'm taking their job. An 18-year-old guy taking a food off of their plate and I'm not looking at it like I'm coming in you gotta think about it I'm coming to high school I'm like these are my friends these are my new teammates <laughs> but it, you know it's, that's what the hard thing that's the only thing I would say about letting high school players come out knowing that as soon as you get on a team it's a business you can look at his third stun a few ways one, you understand that coming into a league like the NBA at such a young age played a part in him having the lack of production his potential in high school showed he could have had, along with being on unfitted teams in his prime, or some other reason not mentioned. 
but the reality is the end result was unexpected of the former number one high school guard straight to the league first round pick. When making the jump, I don't even think he imagined it would be as difficult as it was for his skills to translate to the more open NBA style. As a shooting guard, he wasn't a very consistent shooter, with seasons 20% or under from 3, 34% for his career, and 69% from the free throw line. Again, a few areas that could have been helped by going to college and polishing his skills and IQ. Without being proficient at those, he didn't have other abilities like rebounding or even defensively to make up for that. Although, on paper, it really doesn't tell the full story of the defender he was on the ball. Not being exceptional in any one area on the floor led to him having an unexpectedly disappointing career to some. He finished his career playing one season for the New Jersey Nets and the Atlanta Hawks where it was clear he wasn't going to reach that potential that got him drafted out of high school. All in all, Stevenson was what he was, normal a role player, and there's nothing wrong with that. The requests for this feature lie in what many thought he could have been because of what he showed in high school. If nothing else, his story is a good indicator of how much different those levels are and that not many players are built to have success in them both. Still, a great life story that is respected more knowing how much he had to overcome, but for these reasons, his growth was stunning. It's your boy JC Stunned Growth. I'm out. Make sure you follow me on twitch.tv slash gaming if you want extra free content like me breaking down the day's highlights, moves, drafts, and past players or games upon your request. Let's chat and talk live as it's easier to answer your questions than a place like Instagram where your messages tend to get lost. Follow me there. It's free and we can connect instantly. Join the Discord as well to chat in-game. I'll leave links to everything below.